Tags play a crucial role in Rockwell Automation's RS Logix 5000 and Studio 5000 software platforms. They provide a flexible way to name and access memory locations in Logix 5000 PLCs. This is similar to how addresses were used in older PLCs like the PLC5. Back in the day, Programmable Logic Controllers, PLCs, used cryptic addresses to specify locations in memory. For example, O0 pointed to the output file. This stored the current state of the PLC's physical output terminals. Each bit in this file indicated whether a particular output was on or off. I1 was the address for the input file. This file stored the status of the PLC's input terminals, with bits showing if each input was on or off. The S2 file contains status data used for monitoring and debugging the PLC. It had diagnostic bits and other info about how the PLC was operating. B3 pointed to the bit file, which stored internal relay, logic bits that acted like software relays or control flags used in the PLC program. T4 was the address for the timer file, which kept data for timers, like the current accumulated values, preset targets, and status bits for each timer. C5 pointed to the counter file, which stored current counts, preset targets, and status bits for the PLC's counters. The R6 control file contained data used by PLC control instructions, things like pointers, lengths, and status bits for operations like sequencers and shift registers. N7 was the integer file, holding 16-bit integer values from negative 32,768 to 32,767 used in the PLC program. And F8 identified the floating point file, which stored 32 bit floating point values with a wide range used in calculations. That's just part one of this video. If you want to watch the full parts one and two uninterrupted, they are available exclusively for my Patreon members. By becoming a Patreon member, you get access to the complete video lessons like this one, as well as my entire beginner's course covering PLC fundamentals hardware, programming, troubleshooting, and real-world examples. This in-depth course is designed to take you step-by-step -step through learning PLC basics from the ground up. As a member, you'll have an affordable all-access pass to my premium PLC training library.